Hi guys, this is an older set of tutorials I made for my students several years ago on trim sheets. Now the topic of trim sheets is kind of complex, but the process is actually really simple once you get your head around it. A trim sheet is just a texture with multiple elements that can be applied to many different assets. This reduces production time as well as dramatically reducing the amount of textures needed for a given set of assets. Now there's no standard way of laying out a trim sheet, but the more often than not a collection of thin horizontally tiling textures, as well as some smaller details such as rivets and panel lines. There can also be larger details such as full panel sections and anything else you think is relevant to the assets that you are making. So let's have a look at the trim sheet we'll be making in this tutorial. So we can see here we have a selection of different elements on this trim sheet. The biggest one here is this panel. Now this doesn't have to actually be on the trim sheet. More often than not, these larger sections of a model will just be a tiling texture and it'll just be thin bits that will be on the trim, such as these long thin chrome border elements here. We also have a section for a screen. We even have some things like stickers that have an alpha and are overlaid on top of the rest. Now the true power of a trim sheet really comes into play after you have made this first asset and established the layout of your trim sheet. Once this stage is complete, you can rapidly create more assets using this very same texture and even add more details as you need them as long as you plan properly and leave enough space for extra little details. So here you can see I've used this same texture to quickly make a modular wall section with some animated bits and you can see exactly where these elements have been reused. The beauty of this pipeline is that once you've made a ton of different assets using this one trim sheet, all you need to do is change the texturing on that trim sheet to update every single asset at once, giving you even more benefits to the bag of goodies that is this trim sheet pipeline. Now pretty much every game you will play will have trim sheets involved in that pipeline somewhere. Now some games use them extensively. One of my favourite examples is Star Citizen and this pipeline can get a lot more complex with a lot more layers of detail and more complex tricks in order to get the best out of these trim sheets. These set of tutorials are meant to be an introduction to establish an understanding of how to produce your own trim sheet. From there, it's well worth doing as much research as possible to really learn how to take this to the next step. Now, the modeling and texturing in these tutorials is not complex. They can be done in any program of your choosing, but the steps and the pipeline are the important things to learn here to get to the desired result. So I hope you enjoy this set of tutorials and any comments or feedback or requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.